Hi everyone, today I'm going to walk you through using the backstage view with Rad Ribbon View. As a reminder, Rad Ribbon View is part of the Telerik Rad Controls for Silverlight and Rad Controls for WPF Control Suites for .NET XAML development. In today's video, first we're going to take a look at a really simple Rad Ribbon View implementation, just so we have something to work based off of. Then I'm going to show you how you can add the backstage view to your application. Finally, we'll add some functionality to that backstage view to really make it stand out and add some really useful features to your application. Stepping into Visual Studio, we can see we already have a Rad Ribbon view up and running, which has a Rad Ribbon tab, which contains one Rad Ribbon group with two Rad Ribbon buttons. Those each have content, so we actually have something to look at. But now, if we run this and click on the button that we would expect to launch a backstage view, we'll see that nothing actually happens. Let's wait a second for Internet Explorer to validate what I just said. And now when we click on this, there's nothing actually going on. We only have a tab and some buttons to work with, but we really want that backstage view for added functionality. Well, adding this is actually quite easy. If you remember using the Visual Studio Design widgets that we had set up, you can add a backstage view very quickly with the left widget, which gives you options like application menu, backstage, if you want the backstage or application menu open, and the quick access toolbar. In today's video, we're just worrying about this backstage, so we'll click add right there. And now we can see, if we look down in our XAML, we've added a rad ribbon backstage. So of course, what can we do to customize this and work with this? Because if we launch it right now, once again, we're going to see that we do have a backstage visible, which is definite progress, but we really, really want to have something actually happening here with the backstage, short of showing you a very nice overview screen. So we'll close down Internet Explorer. First up, we're going to give some content to, the, to that backstage button, which is actually application button content. Here we just put something simple like a word in, but you can also do an image, so you have some options there. But now actually stepping into the backstage, we want to add some backstage items. So Telerik, Rad, Ribbon, Backstage Item. Now there's a number of different settings we can put on here. We're just going to work with Header. Say New. We'll do a kind of file system menu type deal. Have four of those. We'll actually do three more and we'll customize them as we go. So now we have a lot of options to add something new. But now we can say New, Open, Save, close. We can remove the header on this one. It is group separator, so we can actually split things up. True. Now header will be recent and say something like templates. So now we actually are going to have a lot more to show you in the backstage view, but again, we're still a little bit lacking in functionality. And that's going to be the next step we work on, but I just want to show you how these are actually all playing out as we add them to the project. We click on the file for the backstage tab, and all of a sudden we have this entire look and feel of that standard backstage that you would expect. Very cool stuff, of course. But if you look, I can go ahead and click on any of these, and we have some built-in styling. So now, not only do we have the option to add these items, but we have that built-in styling to really create the look and feel that you expect from the standard office backstage view. But of course, now we need some functionality, some content happening here. Go ahead and close Internet Explorer once again, and we're going to customize a few of our backstage items. In our case, we'll go ahead and say on the open, we have a number of options, so first up, close on click, we'll say true, so that once you hit it, you're not actually going to see that kind of arrow content menu appearing. We're just going to close the backstage view and perform some functionality. For that, you can tie to click or command as you see here. We're just going to do click, make it really quick and easy for a new event handler, and we'll jump into code just to handle that event real quickly. Say rad window dot alert opening something. So we'll be able to test and see if that's actually working. But next up, another thing I want to check out is how you actually add more functionality to your backstage view. And for that, we're using the content property of backstage items, and you'll see how it actually plays out. So here we can say Telerik rad ribbon backstage item dot content. And now here, since it's content, we can put basically anything in here. So I'll put another button, content equals I'm in recent and set our horizontal and vertical alignments. But if you want, you can really go nuts with this. We'll step into the templates one real quick. And we'll go ahead and copy and paste this just to give us a good start. And within our grid, instead of doing a button, we'll do a stack panel. Vertical, horizontal alignment is left. Vertical alignment is going to be top. And within our stack panel, we can do some buttons. Something nice and simple just so you can see it actually all working. 
one, two, and three. So what we've just done here, we want our open button. It will close on click, so we're not going to see that kind of visual and have everything stay open. When we click, it should show us a message in a red window. And additionally, if we click on either recent or templates, we're going to see a much cooler looking backstage view that you can truly customize to fit the needs of your application. Go ahead, spin this up once again, wait for Internet Explorer to catch up with us. We can see our first tab still has these two buttons. If I go into File, we can still we can see we have the different selections for what we want to use. But if I go into Recent, we see that button. If I go into Templates, we can now see that stack panel with our three buttons. So we have this added functionality and truly the ability to customize anything you want to put into this Backstage View content. So if you want to have some rich templates to choose from, if you want to show charts, graphs, analytics, statistics, anything else in the Backstage View, you definitely have that option. And it's, as you can see, incredibly easy to implement in your applications. I hope you've enjoyed watching using the Backstage View with Rad Ribbon View. Stay tuned to other videos in the series and you can really take advantage of the features and functionality that Rad Ribbon View offer to your line of business applications.